Tell me what we're going to do. We are going to uh, attempt to find Senator Libis's office and meet with him. Okay. I think he's looking forward to meeting with us. Okay. All right. Let's go. I'm, I'm going to ask him to buy you uh, dinner, mm -hmm. not just meet with you. Mm -hmm. He owes you a, a nice dinner. <laughs> that would be a nice way to end it, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Elevators. We'll get away for Rima, Bram. Since the 16th. Hey. His children were, um, Hi. Were you? Very well. Good. Tom? Yeah. We'd like to meet with you. How are you? I'm actually going to conference right now, and uh, then I have to go to New York. I have to go to Sloan for some tests. So, well, you're going to meet with my staff, I think. Oh, well, we really would like to meet with you. This is Patrick Delegate. Oh, hi, Patrick. How, how are you? Very nice to meet you. Good, good. Pleasure meeting you. Um, we had met in Guilford a couple of years ago. A number of years ago? Yeah. Yeah. I think he used to play basketball with my brother-in-law. Who's that? Like? Yeah, possibly. Mm -hmm. Possibly. Why don't you come out here? Um, okay. Good to see you. I, I'd appreciate it. I'd be happy to chat with okay. you. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Chance meeting in an elevator by chance is not the same thing as Tom Levis agreeing to sit down and listen to his constituents for a period of time, not for three or four minutes in an elevator hallway. End did, of story. Did Tom really give you a chance to express yourself? He, I heard Tom him. didn't hear anything I said. No. Tom listened to Pat for about two minutes before he said, Well, this is it. This is the way it is. I'm listening to the scientists. Right. Are you going to end? Was that the meeting you were looking for? Well, I don't think it was the, the meeting I was looking for. It was more of a chance encounter. Um, I am going to have to, to uh, look at if he is the legitimate target now or if I need to go a step above to Governor Cuomo and, and try this on another level. I think that it's possible that we're, we're talking to a man who is so robotic in his servitude to the gas industry that it's impossible for him to do anything other than behave in the way that he did, which 
He did not seem open to meeting with you. No, he didn't. Seem when uh, Bram questioned him on that, he seemed to get very defensive and resort to almost childlike behavior. Yes. Yes, I agree. Yeah. So, was this the meeting that you were looking for? Is this well, going to end I, your fast? Or do you want to think about I, it? I, would, I certainly need to think about that. We're putting um, you on the spot here. I, well, I don't want to put others on the spot either. I don't want to take advantage of having the uh, moral high ground now. And I, I, I think that we can see that that is the case. I don't think it's over yet. I'm certainly going to pursue this. Okay. Thank you, Pat. It was, it was kind of wonderful, though, wasn't it? The timing. He just and, walked yeah. right in, and I had my camera rolling, too, as he walked in. And I was like, I walked out, and then, oh my we start, we start, all right, We started stepping out, and I saw him, and I'm like, I stepped right back in. I'm like, come on in, Tom. <laughs> and saying that he's doing kind of an uncivil civics lesson, I think that annoyed him. And I think that he realizes that it's not just press about some strange old man who's on a hunger strike, but right. that, that kids are looking at him. And, uh, you know, he, he started talking about, oh, well, I support all the school children. Well, easily said. Graham, ready? Some scotch tape for him. You going? Appreciate it. 